all of the JJ episodes now on Yippee! Tracy's Sonic Boom. It was a clear, windy afternoon at Terrytown Airport. But the wind didn't stop Snuffy, JJ, and Tracy from playing their favorite game, Leap Jet. Whee! Ready or not, here I come! Whee! Now it's my turn! Get ready! Whee! One jet that can make a big sonic boom like that. Hey, where did Tracy go? She went that way. Tracy forgot all about playing Leap Jet. You see, she had something very special to ask Savannah. Savannah, you've taught me so much about flying. But would you please teach me one more thing? One more thing? Well, what's that? I want to learn how to make a sonic boom just like you. You do? Why? It's great to hear you make big booms, but I think I'd have even more fun doing it myself. A sonic booming is fun, all right. It's positively thrilling to make the air shiver and shake, but it's not easy. You have to zoom faster than sound travels. Faster than you can imagine. Till I can give you some lessons. Making a boom can cause a whole lot more problems if you don't know what you're doing. I'll be careful. Don't worry. Okay. Well, I've got to run, sugar. Bye bye. So she went to a place where she wouldn't get in anybody's way. Terrytown National Park. Good. There aren't any other planes around. Now I can go faster, 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 faster! As Tracy flew higher, she remembered what Savannah said. 
Darling, making a sonic boom can cause a whole lot more problems if you don't know what you're doing. Be sure to wait until I can give you some lessons. I have to remember not to fly fast enough to boom, just almost fast enough. Tracy was so busy having fun that she didn't notice the strong tailwind blowing behind her. And that wind soon pushed her much faster than she wanted. Oh no! The wind's too strong! I'm going too fast! If I'm not careful, I'm going to... I did it! I made a big boom! Uh, I guess I'm okay. But I'm stuck! I'd better radio for help. This is Tracy calling Brenda Blue. Come in, Brenda Blue. Oh no, my radio's broken. Savannah and JJ were right. I should have been more careful. Now what am I gonna do? Meanwhile, as the day went by and it got later and later, everybody wondered where Tracy was. Tracy! Tracy? No, she's not over here. Tracy? Are you there? Oh, she should be back by now. I wonder if Brenda knows where she is. Let's go find out. Hello, Brenda? Brenda Blue? Hi, guys, what's up? We haven't seen Tracy since this morning, and we're worried about her. Yeah, the last time I saw her, she was going to practice some fast flying. Hmm. It's not like Tracy to just disappear like that. Why don't we give her a call on the radio? Brenda Blue calling Tracy. Come in, Tracy. Tracy, can you read me? Gee, she always answers when I call her. Maybe we should start looking for her. Excellent plan, JJ. I'll search over Terrytown. Well, I'll hover over at the canyon. I'll buzz Lightning Bug Lake. And I'll keep trying the radio. So Herky, Snuffy, and JJ took to the skies to search for Tracy. Brenda Blue calling Tracy. Come in, Tracy. Are you there? Suddenly, the static was broken by a familiar voice. Brenda, this is Savannah. You know, I'm just about to return home and I keep hearing you calling for Tracy. Is she missing or something? Yes. The last time JJ saw her, she was going off to practice some fast flying. Oh, she was, was she? Brenda. I've got a sneaky suspicion I know what she was up to. I'll start looking for her, too. Over and out. Thanks, Savannah. Now, let's see if I were Tracy and I wanted to practice some fast flying, where would I go? First, I'd go someplace safe to be out of everybody's way. I know. Terrytown National Park. strong breeze up here today. It could have pushed Tracy way too fast. And if the wind is blowing from the north, then that means... Nobody will ever find me. I'll be stuck here forever. Hey, I know that sound. It's she is, right where I thought she'd be. But jumping junipers is she stuck. Yoo-hoo, darling, I'll see you down there. Oh, Savannah, I made a sonic boom, but I didn't mean to, and then I crashed, and then my radio broke. Well, hold on, hold on, you just hold tight, honey. If one big boom got you into this mess, 
then maybe one can get you out. Savannah started to fly faster and faster until finally. that afternoon, everyone was back in Terrytown, safe and sound, and happy that nothing really serious had happened to Tracy. <sighs> All right, Tracy, there you go. Now your radio is as good as new. Thanks, Brenda. I'm so sorry I broke it, and I'm sorry I didn't wait for you to teach me, Savannah. I... I guess maybe now you won't, since I did everything all wrong. Now, just because you made one little mistake doesn't mean I won't help you learn to do it right. You mean you'll teach me to make a Savannah-style sonic boom? Well, why not, sugar? You just needed to wait for some coaching to learn to do it safely. First thing tomorrow morning, we'll do it together. Thanks, Savannah. You're the best. Oh, you're welcome, little thing. Sure enough, bright and early the next day, Savannah taught Tracy everything she knew about fast flying and sonic booms. How am I doing? Well, I couldn't do it better myself, I'll tell you what. This is even more fun with you here to help me, Savannah. Yes, Tracy had learned that even though sometimes it's really hard to wait, some new things should only be tried with a grown-up nearby. Then things go better than ever. I think I'm ready, Savannah. Okay, darling. Let's go! wonder what helps airplanes stay up in the sky? It's the air! Most of the time it's so light, you don't even know it's there. But if I blow air like this, <laughs> it makes things move. See? Not only can air help an airplane stay up high, it can also tickle his tail fin. <laughs> air. Think about it. I like to smell flowers. I do. Pick something you like to smell, and we'll smell it together. <sighs> However, smelling isn't just for fun. Sometimes it can warn you something's wrong, like this. Fire! I smell smoke! Hey, hey, fire! See? So pay attention to your nose. Sometimes what you smell might be important. Think about it. Why do things fall? Well, it's something called gravity. When planes take off, they push away from gravity. And everything that goes up must come down. <laughs> That's why, no matter how high my little planes fly, they always come home, down here, right where they belong. Gravity. Think about it. Now, here's something we need to think about. Rocks. Not all rocks are the same. See, this one's brown, and this one's black, and this one's smooth and shiny. Rocks can be little or really, really big. But the biggest rock of all is the planet Earth. That's right. Our planet is really a giant rock floating in outer space. Rocks. Think about it. <laughs> 